So looking at that, you probably won't think you could get a double bed in there, but... So many of you have asked for a bit of a progress update on this and some of you might not know that our previous vehicle, the Ford Galaxy, we used to camp in it and stuff, but this one's a bit different. The seats don't remove, so it is kind it's of... It's a little bit smaller, isn't it? Yeah, it's a smaller vehicle and it's like a case of having to build a bed. So this is what we've done. This is our system. We're nearly there with it, but we're doing a few tweaks and we'll sort of show you what we've got to go in it and all that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, here we go. So a quick trip down B&Q, come back with some 18mm MDF. Basically just cut that in half right down the middle and cut it to about six foot in length. Measured it up in the back of the car, uh, paying special attention to go around the contour of the all the plastic trim and stuff like that. There's a bit of a ball ache, but aided with a bit of cardboard and a Stanley knife and a compass um, and some advice from a friend who was able to sort of cut it out, as you can see here, to the sort of shape of the interior of the car. Next up, was uh, to make some legs for the bottom of the bed. Now, if you notice in this picture, the middle row of seats doesn't fold flat into the floor. I mean, this is a seven-seater and the boot seats fold flat into the floor and they're flush. So that's not a problem, but the bed needed to sit on the back of the middle row of seats. So yeah, we built some legs, basically. Um, they needed to be detachable, so I put sort of inserts into the wood so you can easily you know, it's just two bolts and the bolt, each leg unbolts, so uh, good for storage as well. Uh, next up was carpeted them. Um, Harrison Trim Supplies I got the carpet from. I think that was the best. Um, worked out, you get your most for your money because a two metre roll on there. So um, yeah, you can see the, the bed in situ here. Right, so what we've got here is the bed folded in half and the idea is we've got two seats so that seat will fold into the upright position the middle row and there's one at the back so we've got two seats we can use whilst we've got the bed in the car which is uh, handy for taking kids to other parents and stuff like that the idea with this side is when the bed's not in use you've got tabletops there cue Zoe <laughs> Yeah, we put these there because we thought while well, we're camping in it, obviously we want places to stand drinks and things when we're sitting in it. And hopefully I'm going to decorate the very top of them and make them look pretty as well. But practically it just works really well having two flat spaces on the top. So what we do when it goes into bed mode is we pull the, the legs out from under there and screw them into these two inserts in there. So we've got one leg at the back, one leg in the middle. Like that. And then they just go in there like that. And then yeah. you just flip the whole thing over. Yeah, there's two bolts that go yeah, through there. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> so like I say, it's not completely finished, but we'll we'll pop the legs on, won't we? And um, we will. And put it up into the the bed position to show you. Another you... feature that we needed because when you're camping, sometimes you end up in places where there are a few other people when you're in a van. So we needed a toilet. So Gareth built this one. It's quite small. It has to just slide underneath. It's a little toilet. Ah. Uh... <laughs> and then you just pop a little bag or something in there, so obviously you don't poo yeah. on the car floor. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, a, it'd be a bin bag and cat litter sort of situation. <laughs> yeah, and then it's made a little seat so that it can it can then be used as a seat as don't, well. Don't forget padded, it's padded. It's padded, yes. <laughs> I've got an insert so that it doesn't slide off the top. Yes, yeah, so the idea is you can sit on the dunny outside the, yeah. outside the car. <laughs> as a seat there, stool. But um, it's a stool to do your stool in. But, the main reason it's that size is so, um, if so, if, can you sit on it actually Zoe? Can I sit on it? <laughs> well, we did buy a folding toilet which I end up broken, breaking, not because I sat on it, because yeah, I, I sawed the legs off to make it shorter so you could fit in, because it yeah. was a bit too high and you got kind of a neck injury each time. <laughs> So I've, I've kind of made that a bit of a toss up between the highest we can make it and but still being able to sit in the car. Toilet was something that was missing last time and it was a bit yeah, of a... It was a bit of a problem only when you sort of end up in a lay-by or something wasn't it and then you need the loo and there's people everywhere. I mean obviously we're going to like black the windows out but we'll, we'll yeah. show you that in a in a little minute. Oh, just waiting for people like you do. Yeah, morning. <laughs> Yeah, so what we're going to do now is just, just pop it into bed configuration, so it's a case of bolt the two legs on quick and then flip that panel the other way around.
Yes, yeah, so that, that literally is it for, for each leg. And there's two legs per side, so uh, quite quick and easy to do. Right, so now we have bed configuration. Double bed. So it's uh, it's surprisingly big, she says. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's, it's it's for the size of the vehicle. It's uh, I'll just come round to the side. It's not a bad space to um, no, it's fine, isn't it? sleep. I mean, it's big. I'm five ten. Plenty enough room for me. Um, like I say, I think I did the beds at six foot. So um, lots of storage underneath there for boots and sleeping bags and all sorts of stuff and you've also got the footwell storage down there. <laughs> it's a yeah, that's something that was lacking in the old one, the galaxies, the amount of storage like underneath. I mean, there's a few little bits we need to finish off and um, right, but yeah that's the bed and the idea is same as we did in the galaxy so basically our wild camping kit which gives us the option to go wild camping, leave the car or use the wild camping stuff you know like the sleep mats and sleeping bags inside there which is something we we like having it multi-purpose camping yeah, stuff so do a bit of a combination of types of camping right as, as we film lots and lots we've um, decided to go for a bigger jackery that's the um, that's the explorer 500 there i'll just grab that out actually and tell you a little bit about that right so some of you might have seen the smaller version of this um, we've gone bigger double the capacity it's not cheap granted but if you look at other solar generators it's actually very reasonable cheaper than a lot of them in fact and uh, a lot of people rate these uh, very highly but because we do a lot of filming charging camera batteries up and phones and all sorts of things and to be honest we're thinking of getting a, a fridge for in here not sure what type or size yet but hopefully a smallish compressor fridge but that should run from the videos we've seen a compressor fridge for about 50 to 55 hours um, in the UK obviously if you're in the desert it's going to be a bit lower but um, so without solar panel that'll, that'll run it for a good two days but we've also got a solar panel for that as well but that's yeah your basic DC just zoom in a little bit there so you've got a car port 212 volt output there that's regulated so it doesn't drop voltage when the battery drops which is quite handy for um, fridges and amplifiers which I like to run things like that um, three USBs there 500 watt pure sine wave inverter which is quite handy for us as well because we like to bring the laptop sometimes if we're away extended periods and we need to do a bit of editing and stuff like that but really awesome bit of kit that is if you're into van camping and or all sorts of camping you need something you can lift out and it's very versatile I mean it's not if you're doing a permanent installation it's probably um, not the best thing but for ease you know it's absolutely perfect because it's got everything in one box but really really liking the jackery stuff at the minute awesome stuff but like I said not the cheapest but they're not in general phones aren't cheap cameras aren't cheap Hilleberg tents aren't cheap but people are still buying them so you know Right, so moving on from our power and pooing requirements <laughs> will be the windows next. Now in our last one we had the foil at the windows. There's two problems with that mainly. The first one being... It looked like a spaceship <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> every time you put a light on it, it was like everything was rebounding. It was a nightmare. So, uh, And the second one was the outside. So you could see the foil on the outside and it wasn't very stealthy and the idea with this is we wouldn't mind something that is like you can literally park anywhere if you see that if you've ever seen that Steve Wallace YouTube channel he parks all over just just kind of stealth camper sort of things and the way things are at the minute we'd like to be a bit stealthy anyway because no one likes getting moved on so what we decided is um, just black carpet yeah really seems to work doesn't it just cut it to the shape of the windows. So if we bring bring one of them around to the side door here, just let Zoe find the right one for the window. So what we've done is get some Velcro. This is the kind with the glue on the back, and then we've just cut it into little strips and popped it on top of the frames all around the sides. And then the carpet will just Velcro onto it. Yeah, I mean we only started doing this yesterday, and it needs some. Uh, it needs a bit more work, and maybe yeah, a bit more Velcro. Needs more Velcro because we didn't really put a lot 
on. No, we need, it, it we was need just, to put it, more on. But. It was literally, we just put it on to hang it so we could cut it to roughly the sort of same size, but we need, you know, we need it so it it goes all around the... It's half a job at the moment, <laughs> just because we're out filming. Quick, show them. Right, so yeah, if, we shut, the if we shut the um, door, so from the outside, it, it basically just looks like you've got blacked out windows. So the idea is when it's all, all the whole car is done, if someone's walking by, it's just going to look like blacked out windows. Oh, there's my reflection. <laughs> right, so another sort of area that's of concern when you sleep in a car, or anywhere really outdoors, is condensation. So you need ventilation. In the Galaxy, we had to rely on having the window open a little bit, and then if it rains... It got wet. Yeah. <laughs> So what we did is, if the rain was coming one way, we'd open the opposing window, so obviously it didn't come in, but we decided on this one um, was going to get wind deflectors, so front and back. I think these were about £35 off Amazon. Yeah, they weren't too bad, were they? There's no point putting a link in the description because they are specific to, to your vehicle, so, but you can near enough get them from any vehicle. We went with black tinted ones. Um, so what this enables you to do is have the window open an inch or two, good ventilation, but if it rains, it just, you know, it's like a lip for the window. Yeah, so I'm sure you've all seen them before, but yeah, your window would be open underneath there, you've got a gap, so if it rains, it's sort of, you've got good ventilation there. So I think that is more or less where we're up to now. So the bed, big enough, can't stand up and dance around in this, obviously it's just a just it's a sleeping in really, isn't it? It's a tent on wheels, essentially, <laughs> with lots of power. I mean, that that will run all our stuff for about two or three weeks without being, you know, recharged. But with a solar panel, you can run a fridge and all our camera batteries and stuff. And, and like I say, obviously we film a lot, so it's important that we've got power. It's very windy today. It is windy. <laughs> it is. Yes, what's left to do is finish off the windows. Something you might be able to help us with. We're, we're a bit the front window screen. A windscreen, so slopes. So if you're going to put carpet on, it's going to sag. Now we did think suckers, but they pop off when it's warm. Um, so if any, if anyone has any ideas of how to do carpet up on the windscreen on the inside without it being all saggy, I mean I thought about neodymium magnets, magnets yeah. some sort of support braces. Like somebody out there might have a marvelous idea. <laughs> So, so if you've got any suggestions for that, I mean, it's um, it'd be perfect. But yeah, if everything fits under the bed that we need it to. I might have a lay in it actually. <laughs> well, it's exciting. It's like a, a new adventure, isn't it? Sleeping in your car. It's always fun to have it, just in case you want to do something different. But people keep asking what what we've done, what do we use, what equipment we're gonna have. In the, obviously, you can't fit too much in there. So one, the jackery was like really good because it's all in one and. Yeah, yeah. He's brilliant. Everything in here needs to come and out, come in and out easily because obviously we've got a family and do other sorts of camping. So that that jackery is perfect because it's a lift in, lift out system. Same with the beds and the toilet. Don't want wires and permanent things bolted down in this vehicle because it's uh, it is a family car, but it needs to double as a mini sort of stealth camper as well. Uh, one of the reasons we chose black because it's it's just fades away into the night. So it's. Uh, Looking forward to doing some camping. Yeah, otherwise I'd have had a red car. <laughs> yeah, red. Hopefully, we're going to um, be away in... August. Yeah, August at some in, point in, in this. Yeah. So if those of you who watched the Wales video, I'll link it down in the description and up somewhere up here if you want to watch it. We spent six days sort of living on the road with a car camper thing. We did a bit of a mixture of wild camping and sort of car camping but it was fun really really enjoyed it was really it. nice being away that long wasn't it yeah so um yeah as i said i'm gonna have a lay down there yeah so that fits perfectly in between the legs on the back i did measure that partially to um, to fit that in there so uh, obviously you need things to fit when you're building stuff but all right it's not the best angle really if i'm honest me from this end instead. <laughs> I'm not sure that'll be a good angle as well. No, that's yeah. going to be up the legs quick shot, won't it? There, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright, it's got, it's higher than a hooped bivy. You've probably got, what'd you say there's about three foot? Yeah, yeah, there's a good amount of space in there really. Yeah, I mean, you can lay on your side. 
like I say, can't stand up and run around, but we don't need it for that. It's a, it's a bed on wheels, but load, loads of space in here. It's really surprising. Good thing is we don't have to do anything with the front seats. They just stay where they are. They don't need folding. They don't spin like the last ones, but the vehicle's just ready to drive um, for a quick getaway if the police turn up or anything. <laughs> quick getaway. <laughs> It's, what do you um, think we're going to do on this travel? Yeah, big, big comfy pillows and it's, um, yeah, it's ideal. Just really, really looking forward to, to using it now. We've even kind of given a bit of knee space here. Like if you focus down here, so if you laid on your side, you've, you've even got a bit of extra sort of thing because I built it to the height where it's, you know, it's uh, extra, it, just making the most of your interior space of your vehicle. But yeah, so that's the update for our uh, car camper. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or suggestions on the, the window thing or anything you might find that helps us out a little bit. Oh dear. And because the boot, the boot lid goes up, you've got a nice uh, sort of rain cover or canopy, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, see to sit out and watch the sunset. Smell animal poo. That's what I thought earlier actually. I got a right waft of poo. I just blamed you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, yeah, it's good fun making it. I mean, not completely finished. We'll probably always be tweaking it and yeah, a few bits and bobs to do yet. Um, check out the description below for the links to well, not the links to the wind deflectors, the Jackery, if you're interested in that. Uh, it's a good, it is a good unit. Really happy with that. Um, yep. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you in it in August. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>